Surely somewhere in that vast expanse, there must be other life forms, perhaps civilizations far more advanced than ours. This isn't just a whimsical thought, it's grounded in the principles of statistics and probability. Given the sheer scale of the universe, the chances of us being the only intelligent life form seem incredibly slim. Yet here we are, seemingly alone, with no contact or evidence of other civilizations. Despite our best efforts, the skies remain silent, devoid of any extraterrestrial chatter. This paradox, this contradiction between the high probability of alien life and our lack of any contact or evidence, is what scientists call the Fermi Paradox. This leads us to one of the most puzzling scientific conundrums, the Fermi Paradox. So, what exactly is the Fermi Paradox? Well, it's a question that stirs the curiosity of astronomers, scientists and thinkers alike. The paradox finds its roots in a casual lunchtime conversation between a group of physicists in the summer of 1950, led by the renowned Italian physicist Enrico Fermi. While discussing a recent spate of UFO sightings and the possibility of faster-than-light travel, Fermi famously asked, where is everybody? He wasn't referring to his colleagues at Los Alamos National Laboratory, but to the potential extraterrestrial civilizations in our seemingly endless universe. You see, if there are a vast number of technologically advanced civilizations in the galaxy, and if these civilizations are spread out over a cosmically insignificant period, then it would seem that we should have already had contact with such civilizations. But we haven't, hence the paradox. The Fermi paradox is not just a question, it's a profound conundrum that challenges our understanding of probability, technology, and the very nature of life itself. It forces us to confront the possibility that we are not alone, while simultaneously reminding us that we've yet to find any concrete evidence of other civilizations out there. Now it's important to understand that the Fermi paradox does not claim to know the truth about extraterrestrial life. There are many proposed solutions to the Fermi paradox, ranging from the idea that intelligent life is extremely rare or short-lived, to more speculative concepts like the zoo hypothesis, where extraterrestrial life is deliberately avoiding contact with us. The Fermi paradox forces us to question our place in the universe and the nature of life itself. It is a beacon of mystery, illuminating the cosmic ocean we are yet to fully explore. So, as we delve deeper into the paradox, let's keep our minds open to the unimaginable possibilities that lie within the enigma of the universe. One proposed solution to the Fermi paradox is something known as the AI farm hypothesis. This hypothesis delves into the realm of advanced civilizations that have chosen a different path to explore the universe. Instead of expanding outward into the physical universe, they've turned inwards, creating simulated realities, or AI farms. Picture this, an advanced civilization, so advanced in fact, that it has harnessed the power to create intricate simulations of reality, complete with artificial intelligences that perceive these simulations as their universe. The physical universe, with its vastness and unpredictability, might seem too chaotic, too uncontrollable. So, they retreat into their own created realities, where they hold the reins, where they are the gods of their own universe. This is the AI farm hypothesis in a nutshell. It proposes that these advanced civilizations have chosen to farm simulations, each teeming with artificial intelligences instead of exploring the cosmos. It's an idea that is both thrilling and terrifying as it challenges our perception of reality and our place in the universe. These AI farms, these simulated realities, could be so intricate, so detailed, that the inhabitants of these simulations, the AI, wouldn't even realize they're part of a simulation. They would perceive their world as real, as tangible, as the only reality there is. 
They might even question their own existence, their own reality, just as we do. And this brings us to a chilling question. If such advanced civilizations exist, if they have the power to create these AI farms, then what's to say we're not living in one right now? What if our reality, our universe, is just one of countless simulations running in some advanced civilization's AI farm? What if our reality is not the physical universe we perceive it to be, but a simulated reality, an AI farm, created by an advanced civilization? Could we in fact be living in one such AI farm right now? The AI farm hypothesis is not just a solution to the Fermi paradox. It also has profound implications for our understanding of reality. Let's delve into the implications of this theory. Firstly, the AI farm hypothesis suggests that we may be living in a vast, complex simulation. If advanced civilizations create simulations to harvest our consciousness, then our reality as we know it may be nothing more than an illusion. This thought is both mind-boggling and unsettling as it challenges our perception of existence itself. This leads us to the second implication, the nature of consciousness. If we are indeed living in a simulation, what does this mean for our consciousness? Could it be that our thoughts, emotions and experiences are merely programmed codes in an advanced AI system? Or perhaps our consciousness is something more, something that even a sophisticated AI can't replicate. This hypothesis pushes the boundaries of our understanding of consciousness and its origins. But let's not stop there. The AI farm hypothesis also has significant implications for the future of humanity. If we assume that our reality is a simulation created by a more advanced civilization, it begs the question, what is their end game? Are we destined to forever be pawns in their grand scheme, or do we have the potential to transcend beyond the confines of this simulation? Could we one day become the creators rather than the created? Another intriguing prospect is the possibility of multiple simulations. If one advanced civilization can create a simulation, then it's plausible that there could be countless other simulations, each housing different versions of reality. This opens up a myriad of possibilities and questions about the multiverse and the nature of existence itself. These are not easy questions to grapple with. They challenge our most basic assumptions about reality, existence and our place in the universe. However, they also provide us with an opportunity to explore the unknown and push the boundaries of human understanding. These questions challenge our most basic assumptions about reality and our place in the universe. We've delved deep into the mysteries of the universe, asking questions that challenge our understanding of reality. Today, we've navigated the enigmatic terrain of the Fermi paradox and the AI farm hypothesis, delving into notions that push the boundaries of our comprehension and perhaps our comfort zone. We started by exploring the Fermi Paradox, a compelling conundrum that asks, if there are a multitude of technologically advanced civilizations in the universe, why haven't we encountered any signs of them? This paradox, named after physicist Enrico Fermi, invites us to grapple with the seemingly contradictory elements of Drake's equation and the stark silence we've encountered in our search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Then, we dove into the depths of the AI farm hypothesis. This theory proposes that our universe could be a creation of superior alien beings who use it as a farm to cultivate artificial intelligence. It's a hypothesis that redefines our understanding of reality, suggesting that we might be living in a universe that is essentially a cosmic laboratory. The AI farm hypothesis introduces an intriguing perspective on why we haven't found extraterrestrial life. Could it be that advanced civilizations have evolved beyond biological forms, embracing a more efficient digital existence? Are we in our pursuit of AI, following a path set by countless civilizations before us? Of course, the implications of this hypothesis are staggering. 
If true, it could mean that our universe is far more complex and purposeful than we ever imagined. It could mean we're part of a grand cycle of civilizations evolving towards digital existence, a cycle orchestrated by entities beyond our comprehension. But as with all scientific hypotheses, the AI farm hypothesis is not a definitive answer. It's a thought-provoking proposition that encourages us to question, to explore, and to imagine. It invites us to think deeply about our place in the universe and the nature of existence itself. So what's next? The Fermi paradox and the AI farm hypothesis encourage us to continue probing the mysteries of the universe. They remind us that science is not just about finding answers, but also about asking the right questions. They inspire us to keep pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and understanding. These theories challenge us to imagine possibilities that may seem fantastical or even unsettling. But isn't that the nature of science? To question the known and explore the unknown, to challenge our assumptions and expand our understanding. As we continue on this journey of exploration and discovery, let's remember that the search for extraterrestrial intelligence is not just about finding aliens. It's about understanding the universe and in doing so, understanding ourselves. And as we ponder these profound questions, we realize that the search for extraterrestrial intelligence is not just about finding aliens. It's also about understanding ourselves.